Welcome, everyone, to DS Reality. You know, um, I was in sunny California last week, and I went to a spiritual conference that was given by Marianne Williamson. And I just got to tell you what a wonderful spiritual leader this woman is. I was there. My wife and I spent two hours with Marianne with a very intimate group. It was a very intimate group that we were with. And I got a chance to ask her a few questions. Now, I didn't have a chance to carry my question questioning through to the fullest extent that I wanted to convey my message to Marianne, but I talked about Thomas Paine, and I threw out deism as everybody's reality. Spiritual people of today, they don't want to put a name on their spirituality because putting a name on it tends to, it starts it into a religion. And everybody, the word religion and faith in today's world is getting to be bad words. And she was saying that, you know, we have enough religions out there and we see what religion does to people. It segregates, it spiritually segregates people. As spiritual people, we must unite. If we're to get this collective consciousness that all these spiritual people want to have to happen to everybody, this collective consciousness where we all feel like we are one with life, with the creation. And this word deism can unite all spiritual people. But unite under this word deist because deism just means God. And when you say deism, the main when you say deism, this word implies that God is and the creation is the best way of ascertaining any truth on the matter. And we say the creation is the best way of ascertaining any truth. We are saying that life is the best way of ascertaining any truth on the matter. And we, as spiritual people, can unite the rest of the world under this spiritual awakening that is taking place in small sections of society. Friends, we need this spiritual awakening to happen today. We are years late on the matter. Okay, we have been putting our faith before the reality of God for far too long. The simplistic truth that all people, all deists in the past, have been trying to bring forward is not being brought forward. And everybody who understands the simplistic truth that deism holds will realize that they are also a theist, like our founding fathers, all deists were theists. They believed in God. They believed in a and they believed in divine providence. They believed that God played an active role in their lives. And since deism, our holy text is the creation itself, or life itself, these physical manifestations that are presented to our imagination every single moment that we breathe, since the day we arrived on this planet, these manifestations are presented to our imagination if we are in tuned to this holy text that we call life, that we call the creation. We can learn from one another about some key truths that pertain to this eternal force that must exist because we are here to prove it. We, being part of the creation, can learn from one another. Let's use the woman's movement, for example. The woman's movement would have never happened if we didn't have the word woman. The word woman is just a word that describes a female. And the word God is the same way, guys. The same, and God just describes this eternal force. We all, all religious people use the word God. All right? When the, my atheist friends listen closely here, you are a deist if you believe in an eternal force that started it all, no matter what you want to call it. You don't have to praise and worship this eternal force to be a deist. You can be a deist who just realizes that there's an eternal force, and the only way to understand this eternal force is going to the things that God has made. And you can work with the spiritual people uh, in, with this thought. Instead of calling yourself an atheist and start a whole other organization saying that there is no God, you could say, okay, there is a God, but the only way to understand this eternal force, this eternal energy, the consciousness of all that is, is to go to the things that this force has made. If you want to learn about the faith of our ancestors, go to a holy book, go to the written word. But if you want to learn about this eternal force that must exist because we are here, then you must go to the creation. You must go to life itself, the things that are a product of this force. 
workforce. And you agnostics and atheists can join this spiritual movement by helping spread the simplistic truth that deism holds. All right, Marianne Williamson, I ask you to reconsider, reconsider uniting under this word, deism. Okay? The re Look at the people in your lives, and when they talk to you, listen. Be a good listener. When I talk about a revelation, we are all prophets of God, guys. Go out and get your own revelations. They're awesome when you get them and you, and you attribute these revelations to this eternal force um, that we give the honorary title of God. Um, it's right to give God, it's right to give this eternal force an honorary title because without this force we would not be here. And even you atheists, you receive revelations. You can't help it from this eternal force. Contemplate this force on your own on your own terms. All you atheists and agnostics who don't believe in this first cause, contemplate this force on your own. Be alone with yourself and contemplate it. We need all atheists and agnostics. And when I say atheistic and agnostics, if deism is the true word of God, then all are atheists who don't understand the simplistic truth. You don't, you know, atheists, when they're put up against the wall, they say, well, I believe in an eternal force, but I don't believe that any of the Bible, any book gods are real. Okay? So they're considered atheists just because they don't believe in, you know, the Muslim is an atheist to the Christian. The Christian is an atheist to the Muslim. So when I'm saying that all agnostic and atheists come join this simplistic truth, I'm basically putting everybody who doesn't understand deism as their reality. And when I'm talking about deism, I'm talking about God, folks. This eternal force that is forced upon us by logical thought, by reasoning. Reason is a great guide. Reason is the chosen gift from God that helps each individual determine what is true and what is not true. And this journey, this theology of trying to understand God is an awesome way to live your life. To know that God interacts in everything you do, and this channel is going to try to help you do that, is a blessing. To understand the simplistic truth that only you can decide for yourself. You are the only ones who can say, yes, I'm a deist, and my reality is deism. Go scream that out to the top of your lungs. And let me tell you something, you'll get that born-again feeling that all these Christians are talking about. Look at this beautiful place out here. Can you see those ducks in my background? They flew in gave me a little scare while I've been talking to you guys. Life around here. What message are they giving me? They're giving me a message of hope, really. I contemplate those ducks. I see male and female. And I know spring is coming. And I know exactly what these ducks are going to start doing. They're going to start creating. They're going to start living. There's all kinds of other messages, these ducks, and any other thing I contemplate. And the more we learn, the more we study, the more we listen to our teachers, our philosophers, the more we take in, and the more we realize we be the more we realize that we become our own teachers. And that's what it's all about, folks. Learning as much as you can so that more revelations come your way. The more you know the secrets, when you look at a simple rock and say that this is more than a rock, this is you learn what's in this rock. Every archaeologist looks at a rock in a different way. They know that the substance in that rock has the same substance that we're all about. Okay? We're all a part of this living force that proves an eternal force that we give the honorary title of God. So, my spiritual friends, my spiritual brothers in this quest to know this eternal force. God bless all of you. Spread the word over and out. My spiritual brothers, we will heal this world one pure deist at a time.